And this next call required a bit of quick thinking. The intended victim was Mr Milverton, but he was out, so I quickly changed the plot and involved his wife instead. Picture the scene, the main high street of an old English village. The houses either side don't all share the same frontage, and occasionally a house or shop juts out into the street, making it very difficult for traffic to pass. After numerous accidents, traffic lights have been installed, and because of the difficulties of the site, the lights are actually attached to the front wall of the Milverton's house. Hello? Hello, could I speak to Morris Milverton, please? At the moment. Is he not around? No, he's a uh, football. <laughs> is um is, is is your mother there, Miss yeah. Mrs. Melverton? Yeah. Could I could I have a word? M yeah. My name's Williams, Mr. Williams from the the highways department. Yeah. Okay. Ma. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Melverton. Yes. Uh, good afternoon. My name's Williams from the highways department. I'm sorry to trouble you. That's I believe that your traffic lights are now functioning perfectly all right and that I see from my records there has not been an incident recently. Um, well, what sort of incident? You mean any accident? Yes, kind? there hasn't been a road traffic accident. No. No. Well, not concerning us, nothing. We are going, unfortunately, we're going to have to alter the traffic lights uh, that are there by your house. Mm -hmm. Um... This is because of local authority cutbacks and because of a new EEC road traffic regulation. We're installing throughout the county different uh, traffic lights. And uh, we have one of two alternatives. We can either put in the new EEC traffic lights, which emit a noise uh, in order to warn people, you know, like the Pelican crossings and whatever, they mm -hmm. make a the noise. These traffic lights... Personally, I must be honest, but don't quote me. I think it's a stupid idea. Well, I was just going to say, what's the point when you're shut inside a car? I know. I think the attitude is for motorcyclists and people on bikes and whatever, but I think it's stupid. But anyway, the, gr well, yeah. the, the green noise is a beep, 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 beep kind of thing. Mm. And then there's a, a slightly longer note for the amber. And then the, the red is just a high pitch kind of... Well, to be honest, I mean, that joined onto the side of the house where one of my children sleeps isn't really very practical. <laughs> exactly why I'm ringing you, Mrs. Melverton. Um, Obviously, we're well aware yeah. that this would be most unacceptable. Well, I should imagine as well. I mean, it's very close to everybody else. Yeah. There's a young child at the pub right next door as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly the point. So what I'm, what I'm suggesting, and I shall put forward to the committee if you're in agreement, is that we will not have have this new sonic uh, traffic light yeah. and instead we'll uh, have them manually operated during uh, uh, the night hours would that be conceivably possible i don't know what that means well honest. you could have a small switch in the house and you would be able to control the traffic lights and uh, work them for us rather than have this new system well i mean how how can you do that well, you have a green button and a yellow button and a red button, and then as the traffic comes, you, you just change it as and when you and your husband wish. Well, I think that seems a bit strange. I mean, you know, why should... You know, I'm not being funny, but, I mean, why should we personally have to control the traffic? It just seems a most strange idea. Well, it puts it very much in, under your control. You, you can actually control, you know, how much traffic is passing your house and the amount of inconvenience. Well, I mean, that's inconvenience. sort of responsibility of someone living on the road, is it? Do, do, you think yeah. you would, do you think you'd want a fee for this? You'd want to be paid for operating them during, during the night? Well, I mean, how on earth can anybody stay up and operate lights during the night? Well, maybe your, your husband could sort of do it till midnight and then you could do the early hours of the morning. You must be joking. I am, jo <laughs> I am joking. I don't know your Christian name, but I was hoping to get your husband. My name's Noel Edmonds. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's the sort of thing you just don't think is going to happen to you. <laughs> oh, no. I'm afraid, Mrs Milverton, it just has. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, it's been such a serious subject up to now. This is lovely. Lovely. What is your name? Jean. Jean. Oh, well, Liz Stroud suggested that I try to catch Morris out. <laughs> that uh, I can imagine, yes. And quite obviously, he's not there. Oh, so, lovely. So I've caught you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you caught me very well. <laughs> very well. Oh, I think it's lovely. <laughs> I'll murder her when I see her. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. More threats of murder.